Okay, any Harry Potter fans here? Okay, so in the movie Harry Potter, there's a famous line, the boy who lived, right? So that's the title of my story today. And just boy ke baare mein baat karo, that he's very close to my heart. Okay, so let's start. So this is the story of a boy whose life was full of joy. Nothing could break him because he hated being a victim. His life was moving with a smooth flow because his only aim was to grow. Until he was diagnosed with a very serious chest infection. And it was that serious that he could barely walk a few meters without getting fainted. Because of his condition, he was taken to the doctor and the doctor told him that till now, you have been very careless with your disease and because of that, the infection had spread to 80% of your left lung and 90% of your right lung. And the moment the boy heard this, he was completely broke. He could see the walls of his dream closing in in front of his eyes. His hopes were shattered. And in fact, he had got no hope left. But the doctor told him that we are prescribing you medicines for two months. And if you take those medicines seriously, followed by a highly nutritious diet, you will eventually be cured. So the boy did exactly what the doctor told him. He started taking his medications and he was very punctual with his medication. And he was that punctual that if today he is taking his medicines at 8 a.m., then he made sure that tomorrow also he take his medicines at exactly 8 a.m. And also he was taking a highly nutritious diet. After two months, he went back to the doctor very confidently and guess what? He was not cured. His disease didn't even budge. And the doctor told him that now it is a big thing to worry about. So just to give it a one more try and wait for any miracle to happen, the doctor prescribed him the same medicines for one more month just to give it a one more try. And in this one month period, the boy was not taking his medicine seriously and eventually he was cheating on his diet as well. After one month, he went back again to the doctor and you won't believe, this time he was cured. His disease was disappearing magically. His health was getting back on track and because of that, the boy who could barely walk, the boy who, could, who was completely devastated, the boy who had lost all the hope is right now standing in front of you all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the boy who lived was me. Yours truly, yours lovingly, yours sincerely, Abdullah Khalid. Now you people might be wondering what was the reason behind my cure which was there in the second phase of my treatment and which was not there in the first phase of my treatment. I'll tell you. In the first phase of my treatment, for the full day, I was just lying down on the bed, thinking about my disease, search, searching my symptoms on the internet and let me tell you, if you are suffering from any disease, internet is the worst thing. Because it has a terminal disease for every stupid symptom that you have. If you are having a headache, the internet will tell you that you are suffering from brain tumor. If you are having a minor skin rash, the internet will tell you that you are suffering from skin cancer. You won't believe that at that point of time, my weight had dropped down to 36. Just imagine 6 feet height and 36 kgs weight. And the internet was telling me that I was suffering from high cholesterol levels. <laughs> Can you believe it? So this was the case in my first phase of treatment. In the second phase, I was transferred to my grandmother's place. And there, I was having a lot of fun with my two-year-old nephew. And because of that, I somehow managed to divert my focus away from my disease and this skill of diverting my focus that I acquired unknowingly actually cured me. Ladies and gentlemen, our brain is like an electronic circuit in which different bulbs are connected. Bulb of love, bulb of happiness, bulb of sadness, bulb of agony, bulb of jealousness. It's completely our choice that we connect to wires to only that bulb that we want to glow. In the first phase of my treatment, I connected the wire to the bulb of hopelessness, to the bulb of sadness. And I was giving it more and more power to glow more brightly and thereby making me more sick. But in the second phase of my treatment, I connected the wires to the bulb of happiness, to the bulb of love, to the bulb of hope. And this actually cured me. You won't 
yeah you can do it <laughs> you won't believe that when i was cured completely my mom told me that when you were first taken to the doctor the doctor told us that your sons not going to last for 15 to 20 more days but she didn't tell me this at that point of time because if she had done that i could have probably i must not say that but that was a possibility with a very high probability but now when i was cured completely and she was telling me this i was laughing at it because now i know how to turn on the right bulb at the right time thank you